Hey gang, Anthony Fontana here, Alive After Five. It is Tuesday, February 26th. It's amazing. The month is almost over. Holy cow. Uh, one sixth of the year done. Uh, man, I don't know where you guys are right now, but I'm excited. Uh, we're just here. I'm just winding down uh, a pretty hectic, a pretty hectic day. Uh, it's, it's always this way, this time of the year for me, but I'm here sipping uh, a Barcello uh, Gran Añejo rum from uh, Dominican Republic, I think, and uh, it came from Cancun uh, on our trip a couple of years back. So I'm fi I finished up the bottle. This is the, this is actually the last of the bottle. Um, I have not touched this since I poured it. So doing that, and I'm going to start eating some of my Samoas, which are they're going to go down like they had eyes on in there. I, I love I love Girl Scout cookies. So anyway, just wanted to say hi, hi Irene, Louie, what's going on, boss? You know, the internet has created. An ability to connect with people at a level that is literally unprecedented. And I think if you're not taking advantage of this system, this way of doing things now, I think you're going to miss out on an amazing wave. The people that I've connected with and have developed relationship with just over the past six months have blown my mind. Uh, it's no longer six degrees of separation. It's now three or two degrees of separation. I mean, I responded to a post on Facebook like almost a month ago uh, where they were, they were discussing a bunch of professionals talking about taxes and I just kind of chimed in for a second and that led to an amazing connection tonight with some new friends of mine in, an, in a state a thousand, fifteen hundred miles away. I never would have known the people that I'm talking to today. Uh, I spent almost an hour, hour and a half on the phone with without this system. It has, it has created an immediacy to connecting with people. I mean, back in the day, you know, uh, go back to 1980-something when I was working at the bank, we didn't even have computers uh, on our desk at that point. And I was building a business for them, all done by telephone call. You made a phone call. There was no idea who was calling you back. Uh, there was no caller ID. You left a message. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. You don't even know. Maybe they called you back. What's going on, Jason? I'm doing great, brother. You know, they didn't even know you called. Uh, we had something called telexes back in those days. Uh, they're the precursor to fax machines. We had fax machines too. But to communicate with each other across the globe as an international banker, we it wasn't immediate. You just typed into a telex machine or you sent a fax. Uh, I don't think we even had we didn't have we didn't even have email. So that's how we began in business. And prior to that, uh, you know, I don't even know. I mean, what what people did to talk to people? You called on the phone. Now it's there's an immediacy to this connection. There's, immediate, there's an immediacy to developing the relationships. And you can get to know somebody after connecting with them on Facebook with a phone call, because there is that tradition. You need to do that, I think. I believe strongly in actually talking to people and taking the time to do so. Uh, when I'm on the phone with a potential client or an actual log for my client, I'm not on the clock. I'm not, I don't press a button and it, the clock is going and I have to time out and get off the phone. I'm looking to get to know them. I'm looking to see, is there a fit? Is there a reason why we're connecting with each other? And it usually is. And you realize it when you look back on the conversation that there's a lot of great people out there and I'm meeting them every single day. So for me, it's, it's an important part of my business, but it's an incredibly important part of my personal life and is a very important part of my being involved in this world. I, I love it. I love meeting with people. I think if you're not in great embracing the technology today, it's just nuts. If you're using... This, this medium here, Facebook, it's so powerful. If you're using it you know, to post some recipes or sharing a few things that are going on in your life, that's great, but why not create a brand for yourself? Why not create something that you could use as your legacy? Because there's people that need to know what you're about. There's people that need to know what you're doing. There's people that need to have answers to questions that they're not getting anywhere else, and you might have that answer. And it might, you might stumble across them inadvertently, because of these connections. A lot of people, they keep their Facebooks private. They don't want to be exposed to anybody. Man, I don't care who sees my Facebook. I, I, I can give a rip. You know, I can, I can tell when a profile is fake versus a real one. Uh, thank you, Lou. I appreciate it. So, I, I mean, I just know. So, I'm not accepting friendships from everybody. You know, a guy named David with no picture, no post. He sends me a friend request. I can't be bothered. Not only do I get rid of them, I block them. But the majority of people that I connect with, they're real people that see what I'm doing, they want to be involved, they want to connect, and they reach out to me. And I reach out to them, we get to know each other. I think that's so critically important. Uh, it's, it's created a shift in the entire culture of society. 
Some people are going to argue that it's, you know, it's a bad thing. I don't really see any downside with it. If you know what you're doing, you treat it with respect and you treat the relationships as you would a one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody that you met today in, in real time, uh, in, the real, in the real world, uh, I think you're going to be fine. And I think there's going to be people out there that need what you know. They need to know what you know. Don't be afraid of it. You know, I think having the ability to communicate with people literally across the globe now, seamlessly, without any cost at all. I mean, what is it costing me to do one of these videos? Not a damn thing. A, nothing. It's free. It's a couple of minutes of my time. And I'm enjoying it. So why not you do something similar? Turn on your camera. Record you making a birthday cake. Actually record you doing it. It may be sloppy. It may be messy. You may be stumbling on your words. But it's you. It's not, it's not a, 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 a fake thing. It's not a cartoon. It's you in the real world, in real life. And people will enjoy watching you. You know, if you're, all you're doing is posting about some business that you're in, that's a different thing. I don't recommend that. But if you're putting up content that's relevant to your world, to your life, and to people that are around you, I think the right person is going to come into your sphere of influence and that connection is going to change your life. I just know it. In fact, it has for me too. So I'm, I'm excited about what's going on in my world. Um, it's keeping me uber busy uh, lately and uh, I'm just having a blast. So I just want to reach out and say that to people. Embrace this medium. This is your time to embrace this medium. There is no better time to embrace it and learn it now. It's not for the younger people. It's not for the older people. It's for people. And if you're not taking advantage of it, shame on you. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there because there's going to be somebody that's going to say, oh my God, I had that issue. They solved it. Now maybe I can solve mine. You may change someone's life. You may change the direction of someone's health. You may change the direction of someone's finances simply because you took two or three minutes out of your day and reached out and sent you into the world. Because you can't do it from your kitchen. You know, no one's going to know who you are. Why not know who you are? I want to know who you are. In fact, I have a, an idea that I'm thinking about reaching out and trying to create 400 conversations over the next 90 to 120 days. And those conversations are going to entail what challenges people are having in their life that are not being addressed and how, they, how they're looking for solutions to certain things that are going on. I don't know. Maybe I can create some kind of content around that idea and maybe help some more people out. So I may do just that. I'm, I'm thinking about how to implement something like that. But I'm going to do it. Guess where? Right here on Facebook. And uh, I think it's going to be a success. I think I'll help some people out. So Abner, what's going on? Linda, I'm going to jump off. Hey, Brian, what's happening, my friend? I'm going to jump off right now. Hopefully you get something out of these little quick videos. Share if you care. Inbox me if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi or say something here, just respond. Let me know. If you're watching it as a replay, I would love to know because Linda's on here now. Abner's on here now. Um, let's see. I have Brian on here. Dawn's on here. Jason's always on here. Jason, I appreciate you. Irene is always on here. And Big Lou, anything I can do to help you do something, I'd love to help. So I'm going to go eat my Samoas and uh, you don't have them, I have them. Love you guys. Have a good night.